Welcome to Texas Tech TV. Brian Jensen, John Harris, Chris Level, the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew with you from El Paso, Texas. Game two of the 2014 season. Red Raiders taking on the Miners this weekend. This, of course, are keys to the game. And, uh, well, there are all kinds of keys we can throw out to you. One of them would be these guys just need to make sure that they stay awake. Anybody got any Red Bull out there? You can throw it to us so we can work on this. Uh, Chris, how about you? We started with John last week. Well, I'm hoping you <laughs> me, this offense never got in any sort of rhythm, you know, last week. And, and it's good good happened, something bad happened. They didn't handle adversity very well. I think you need to get a couple of first downs early in the game. And I mind you, you don't want to have what happened last time you were in El Paso. I think 69-yard pass to Robert Johnson. He's off to the races. And you get a bogus call on Gabe Hall. Because I think that game, if that play sticks, you probably start rolling. And so you want to avoid something like that. But, I mean, what I'm saying is you need to get going, get a couple of first downs. It was a three and out last weekend. I think if you do that, you can start to get in that rhythm and, and get hit your tempo, and you'll be fine. But uh, it was 17-3 when we looked up last time. you got to bring out just, all that history. I'm just saying, I'm just saying too. <laughs> John? I'll just say don't be your own worst enemy, particularly on offense. And you think about it last week. Here's a team offensively that had more than 600 yards. You had a 100-yard rusher. You had a near 200-yard receiver and a quarterback that threw for over 450, yet you walked away and said, we didn't, we didn't look very good. We didn't play the way we want to play. The standards that this team has set are very, very high. So you can't drive the length of the field throw an ill-advised pass into the end zone and get it intercepted. You can't throw a jump ball for your shortest receiver, perhaps. And don't get in a situation where you're pressured in, into a safety. Just things that take all your momentum away, don't give yourself a chance. And I think if the Red Raiders don't make mistakes like that, I, I see that it would be a very, very difficult time for UTEP to stop them. Yes, the mistakes. That's, yeah. that's certainly something they have to keep. Okay, master the obvious every week. I'll throw out a few more. Okay, how about... Uh, the turnover battle. How about we just have one? Uh, um, that's something that you certainly think that if they can win the turnover battle this weekend, they win the game as well if all these other things come to play. And then how about stop the run? Uh, Aaron Jones last week, 237 yards for this Miners team. Can't let that happen this weekend, that's for sure. So there's a couple of them. And, uh, oh, one other. Maybe don't allow a fourth down conversion. Six for six last week. Boy, we shouldn't be bringing up all the negative stuff. There was a win a week ago, um, hopefully a win this week as well as the Red Raiders take on the Miners of UTEP at um, the Sun Bowl. Great stadium, a lot of fun to be there, but it'll be a lot more fun when we come home with a W. I'm Brian Jensen. This is the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew, and you've been watching Texas Tech TV.